Hello, hi, how are you doing? My name is uh, Sorobi Moturi Rastas and uh, I wear many hats, but uh, for this uh, session, let me just wear a hat of uh, the author of this book, Maximizing Your Skills and Talents. I'm recording this video when we have uh, what we call, we are, we are here in Kenya, kids are out for probably for two months, even as they are breaking and uh, staying with the parents at home and one of the key things that I've been learning from my children is it's very important as a parent just to understand what talents or what skills are within your children and then how can you be able to develop them and one of the key things we've been uh, learning with my kids is number one we had to uh, release our house help uh, for two months that is November and December so that we can be able to be with the children so we plan our day we plan our day uh where but my kids are not very big i my, my first born is around i think around 12 years 11 12 years there and we plan then the other one is around 10 years and then the other one is around uh, four five years there so we've been planning probably for the two we plan who's going to do the cleaning of the house who's going to do the utensils after breakfast who's going to do the utensils uh, after lunch, who's going to wash the utensils, who's going to cook, who's going to do tea, um, and then who's going to do other things. Um, uh, definitely in our homestead, there are many things that need to be done. The cleaning, the what, who's going to do what. And one of the key three things I've been looking at here is probably after we are done, number one, even doing the course alone, you're able to tell who is very good in kitchen, who is very good when it comes to cleaning, where these potentials are. are. And then even in the discussions, you get to understand who can be able to get details, who can be able to do planning, who can become, who takes care of the child better and such. And uh, one of the key things I've learned is children have different skills. Children have different skills. And uh, it's, a, it's our role as parents just to find ways of developing these skills. And just to... Uh, just to look at a number of things I have just uh, when I was writing this book I had I was looking at a number of things um, there are different we call them different groups they're, 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 let me not groups let me call them the segmentation of gifts and talents of course a skill is a talent developed and then from there it becomes something that can become of value to someone but let me just talk about the different, the, the seven different groups when you talk about talents. There is what we call adventuring. There is what we call artistic. There is what we call influencing. There is what we call investigation. There is what we call operations. There is what we call organizational. There is what we call social. And then in those, they have different. Like now when you talk about, about artistic that those people can be able to give service, that those people can do acting, that those people can do costuming and drama, that those people can do art, that those people can do what we call the crafts, that those people can do the building crafts and such. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that uh, as parents and as guardians, let's just try to expose our kids. When you expose them to different things, they can do pancakes, they can do pancakes, they can do probably eggs. In the process, people are able to to show their talents and their giftings. Yes, they can become engineers, but still they have something else that they can be able to do. Why am I saying this? Even us, those of us who are grown-ups, we are not getting our income from only one source. Probably you're doing some pit of farming this side. You're doing some pit of probably uh, hardware on the other side, side you have this you have that so it's very important that we get to know what are these talents what are these giftings that they have how do you develop how do you discover the, your child's giftings your child's talents that is another topic that we will be able to discuss but for today if you've not if you want to just to interact because in this book i have shared many things i have studied i've sat down i've done research uh, I have, I have, uh, you will be able to go through a number of things. This might not be that book that you want just to read. This one, you need to mentor somebody. You need to grow with your child. Working with my, uh, we've been doing a number of indoor games. 
I don't know how many of you know, I don't know how many indoor games you have which engage the mind. One of the key things that I've done and I'm trying to do is to avoid my kids just watching TV all through. There is, of course, there is a segment. I think in a day, they have like one hour for TV, at most two hours, but in most cases, they have a variety of things. They go, they play, they do cooking, they do washing, they make their room and uh, do other things, and then the they indoor games, they can do either, there are many games, uh, indoor games, whether they do chess, and then probably at a given time, they need to do Monopoly, and then they shift from there, there is word power, they move from there, there are a number of storybooks, a lot of storybooks. Yeah, they have a session, they need to read storybooks and such. And then, of course, they have a session whereby they, so they have instruments. Yeah, now, they, they, whatever that I'm sharing may not be able to work for you. But, of course, I have tried to have either there's some drums here, there's a keyboard here, there's guitar here, there's what, there's a piano and such. So so that they can be able to, uh, do, to engage their mind and also they try to develop. There is, of course, there, there is there's a moment where they have notebooks, they write, they write stories, they do the journaling. So by so doing it, we'll be able to help. If you probably you're watching and you're wondering, sort of what are you talking about, then grab this copy. I wrote this book some years back. Which year was that? I can't remember. I think I wrote this book. Which year was the 2017? You grab a copy of this, it will be able to give you a few. You can even decide to pick a chapter and then you read and then you share and then you ask yourself, what are we learning? What are we getting out of this? Probably it will be able to help. I've talked about what is talent. I've talked about talent versus gifts, discovering your talent, developing your talent. I have a chapter about believing in your talent. Some people, they have talent, but they are not believing in it. Yeah. Somebody can be able to, it's a good football, like it's a good football, it's a good football. And then there's also something that I've talked about, uh, rising from obscurity to greatness. Some people, they have talents, they have giftings, but they are wondering, focusing on your talent. Yeah, I'm talking about getting time, availability, going for trainings. Uh, and then I've talked about having the right attitude. Yeah, you can have a good talent, you can have a good gift, but still you're having an attitude. And then I've talked about chapter 9, your association will determine the success of your talent. If you are a footballer, if you are a singer, if you are an instrumentalist, if you are somebody who draws, if you are somebody who is very endowed with... I have seen some young children who can be able... The other day I went to my village, and then I discovered my, ne my nephew has just built something for, 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 for the TV. But too. So you need to ask yourself, can you be able to do something that can be able to, uh, is there a way you can associate yourself with people who can be able to, I've talked about empowering your mental capacity, I've talked about how do you, developing your child's talent, chapter 12 I've talked, how do you balance your child's talent with education, that's another thing that people need to be very careful, your child has a talent, probably is a comedian, your child is a good footballer, your child is a good, she's good in netball. How do you balance? Because if you don't balance, you might find your child is leaning to one thing. I know some families whereby children are very gifted. They can play instruments. The other day I, I was with some kids who can play instruments very well. But you see the parents are saying, Achanangana is of it too, it's our idea. So how do you balance? Because both they are good. Both they are good. How do you balance? I have a chapter, I've talked about that and I've given a number of points there. And then what's the role of a parent in developing your child's talent? Some people, they've been killed by their parents because they are always discouraging them. Yeah, there are many talents, there are many giftings. Some people, they are acrobats. And then, and for your information, we have those people who have done very nice degrees, but they have no job. So how do we, what is the role of the parent in developing your child's talent? I've talked about the power of a talent. I've talked about your talents, power, uh, powers, your vision. I've done uh, something in chapter 16, packaging your talent. I've talked about signs of a neglected talent. There are people, their talents were neglected. Now they have become big. Now they're discovering, I wish I knew how to do this, acting on your talent. Some people, they have talents, but they are not doing anything. They just sit there. I've talked about the importance of character development. I've always said, your character will take you, your, your, your talent will take you places, but your character will retain you there. Just, I've done around 19 chapters, grab a copy of this. Kenyan money, I am just asking only 500 Kenyan shillings. Some other place is supposed to be a thousand. I'm asking only a thousand. I'm only asking 500. Grab a copy of this. Just do a comment there. 
get a copy of this it will help you it will help you help your child it will help you help your nephew it will help you help your, your, your niece it will help you even help your parent yes some parents need to be helped you discover you see your parent has something the parent can do very well in farming can do some other in, in other areas you see it from a distance but you've not helped so you can be able to guide by the way one of the key things how do you discover your talent don't neglect what people tell you oh you be you are a good organizer that is a clear sign you have something oh you cook very well oh we love the way you have done your house probably you have a talent you can be able to do artistic work i love the way you've done landscaping so when people are telling you that then it means you can take that thing to bigger heights Thank you so much for your time. If you've not followed me on different platforms, TikTok, I'm there. Follow me on Facebook, Soroy Materialistas. Follow me on, uh, on, on on X. Follow me on YouTube, Atatona Soroy Materialistas. Follow me uh, in Instagram, LinkedIn, and we will be able to share because I believe strongly that iron sharpens iron as another person sharpens another person. Thank you so much and God bless you. My name is Soroy Materialistas share this video give me a comment give me a like i really appreciate because you help me reach out to other people blessings